Hello everyone, uh, this is Swagtor Snoopy here, back with another video. Today, we're going to be doing a Swagtor highlight on soloing a world boss in 6.0. Now, it should be mentioned that I soloed a ton of world bosses back in level 70 in 5.0. My playlist of these fights are in the description for reference. But since the new expansion Onslaught has come out, I wanted to see if anything has changed with level sync or companions to make the challenge more difficult. It was definitely interesting to say the least. I will be soloing the Narshada world boss today, and I will also have commentary to explain my thought process and some of the changes that have been introduced with 6.0. Anyways, I'm not going to keep you guys waiting, so I hope you all enjoy, and let's jump right into the video. Alrighty guys, so let's get into this highlight right now. So as you can see right here, I am looking through my gear, and the main reason behind that is uh, I wanted to just quickly show off uh, some of my, I would say how my gear isn't really optimized or anything. The thing that I tried to do was to get 110% accuracy, just mainly because uh, when you have 100% or 110% accuracy, the bosses will not resist your damage. So that was kind of uh, coming into it. That was what I was going to try and do. And uh, if you saw in the patch notes for Onslaught, they did nerf healing companions quite a bit. But the good news is uh, with that nerf, they added this new ability to companions where they can passively heal themselves. Or they can actually just heal, heal themselves uh, very, uh, not very quickly, but they can heal themselves occasionally for very low amounts of health. And as a person who just tries to solo some of these world bosses, coming into that, I was very excited. It's almost as if Bioware kind of, even though they nerfed the companions, they kind of buffed uh, people who were trying to solo these uh, world bosses. Since uh, with a passive heal, you no longer have to worry about healing the companion to get uh, the heroic moment and also unity to reduce some damage. So right here, as you can see, I am using a bunch of different defensives to try and survive. And as with 5.0 and level 70, this did work out pretty easily. It wasn't too much of an issue actually to do this. And that's mainly because with the level 70, it's like when you have a level sync, if you have really good gear, you can kind of mitigate everything. Like you still need to use your defensives and such to stay alive. But when you uh, do have a bunch of OP gear, you do have a ton of good secondary stats, and you can just survive just about any, like I say, any damage that's really thrown at you if you're careful. So I have a rotation for the time being right here, and that was what I was trying to show off in this video, or at least with this footage, is that with the, this particular boss on Narshada, if you get a rotation, you won't have an issue with dealing it, or dealing with him as with most of these world bosses. But something I do want to say that I noticed right off the bat is that I don't know what it is, but I feel like with level sync, Bioware changed it in some way. Because I don't want to spoil it, but I'm, I'm just going to spoil it right now. This guy enrages fairly early. Like, for example, when I sold this boss on level 70, I beat this guy without him really hitting the enrage at the very like at the very very end. As in I completely killed this boss with ever without ever having to deal with his enrage. But on this run, this guy hits his enrage fairly quickly. And I know that I don't have the best gear currently, because at the end of the day I have horrible crit and alacrity because the expansion just released and I don't have good gear. But even still, just with the 110% accuracy, I was very shocked at the amount of damage I was doing and how little it was. And I'm all for that, honestly, if they decide to uh, nerf the level sync so you do less damage. But at the same time, I gotta say, there definitely is something noticeable with the, this boss in particular. So that was a little unfortunate, but at the same time, I was still able to keep with my rotation with the surviving. And that was the important thing I tried to do. And as you just saw, I did quickly a jump cut, and that's what I'm going to do for quite a few parts in this video, because the way I handled this boss is, honestly, I cheesed the boss quite a bit, 
As with most of the world bosses, in order to kill them solo, you do have to do some cheesing and just a bunch of silly mechanics. But with this boss, it was actually someone who commented on my past video who mentioned that you could go around the corner as such right here. And you could just kind of play Ring Around the Rosie with the boss. You didn't have to just straight up kill him and take him down that quickly. So this is kind of what my strategy was was I was going to heal up and once again play Ring Around the Rosie with him and heal up a bit. And it was working out, but based on this compared to uh, 5.0, I don't know. It's good because the companions don't die as easily, but at the same time, it seems with the, the new 6.0 with the level sync, you do have to focus more on cheesing the mechanics because you can't just straight up a DPS rush of these bosses, it seems. And I could be entirely wrong. Who knows? It, maybe if I gear up uh, to the best uh, level 70 gear, this guy will be a complete cake or a cakewalk, and I will be able to take him out very quickly. But based on what I'm seeing so far, I am just assuming that Bioware changed the level sync, so these guys aren't as easy to solo anymore. But I'm I'm okay with that, honestly. I think it's good that the level sync system is, I say, becoming a little bit more difficult, so you can't just uh, completely, uh, I say, kind of like face roll everything without having to really uh, focus on the gameplay. So, at this point, I'm kind of assuming I'm going to hit the Enrage soon, because it was taking a very, very long time to kill this guy. And also, I just assumed that he wasn't even really at 50% HP yet, and things were getting very, very hectic. So, once again, playing Ring Around the Rosie a little, I'm just kind of prepping for what I'm going to do when he enrages. Kind of like what he just did right there. And I knew that when he enraged, he was going to do an insane amount of damage. So, I was trying my best to, once again, just run back and forth. And the way I really killed this boss was, was actually to just to keep on doing this. This was insanely tedious. But I really wanted to prove the point that it's possible to uh, kill this boss. Or rather to just keep killing these world bosses in 6.0. So I was on a mission. And as you can see right there, he hit me and it knocked me down so low. I was very scared. There was many, point, or at many points where I was very scared of dying. But you can see right here I cut to the end of the footage. And while doing that, jumping back and forth, going around... I was able to successfully kill the world boss. So I guess the question is answered that you can still solo world bosses in 6.0. But at the same time, it seems like it's a little more difficult now. It seems like you more have to rely on uh, focusing on uh, cheesing the mechanics and just uh, going in separate places so you can survive. Rather than just going on a straight uh, DPS rush or DPS rush. And I'm okay with that, honestly. I think that uh, it's cool that it's still, you know, you're still able to uh, do uh, the uh, solo world bosses. And I thought this video would be cool to make just to uh, showcase that. And also to kind of do a little test to see if it was, you know, still possible with the Onslaught. But that's going to do it for this uh, Swatora highlight. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. If you did, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.